Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The great compromiser, Henry Clay, was a frequent visitor to Natchez in the mid-19th century. As a dominant figure in the Whig Party, Clay was particularly popular among the Natchez planters. Clay, of course, represented Kentucky in the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives, where he served as Speaker. He also served as Secretary of State under John Quincy Adams. Clay unsuccessfully ran for the nation's highest office in 1824, 1832, and 1844. One of Clay's early visits to Natchez was in March of 1830, where he delivered a widely reported speech at the Mississippi Hotel. The assembled crowd was reported to be as large as the one that had turned out to honor General Lafayette a few years earlier. In his speech, Clay reminded the Natchez planters that the tariffs passed in Congress had not diminished the world's consumption of cotton, but had increased it. Supposedly, one Natchez planter was so taken with clay that he bolted the gate of his estate, Mount Repose, and swore he would never open it until Clay was elected president. Unfortunately, as the story goes, the owner was later required to build a new entrance. Clay visited Natchez again on this day, December 7, 1842, and according to William Johnson's diary, the streets were full of people. Many of them has come to town merely to see the Honorable Henry Clay, observed Johnson. Clay made a short address, making reference to the city's recent misfortune, the tornado of 1840, and after an hour spent visiting with the gathered assembly, Johnson notes that Clay was taken out again to Mr. St. John Elliot's for dinner. Hi, I'm Ed Bowser, the IT Director for the City of Natchez, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.